Hey guys, it's Jarrett. So today we're coming back to kind of do a 2.0 on the removal of icon shortcuts and the removal of desktop icon names. This will help you clean up your desktop. And the reason I'm doing a 2.0 is due to all these comments. And I just want to say thank you guys for commenting. Please keep commenting. It helps me know what, what other content you guys are wanting. So I just want to say thanks for all the support and you guys are awesome. So let's go ahead and get started. So first off, we need to open up the registry editor. Once your registry editor is open, you will need to traverse uh, in the registry editor, starting with your local machine, software, Microsoft, Windows, current version, Explorer, and at that point, you're good to go. So inside of Explorer, you go ahead and right click, new key, you do shell space icons. And in here, you're going to do a new string value. We're going to name that string value 29. And the value data that you're going to put, I've put this in the description of this video. Here's also a screenshot of it. Uh, and you can just copy and paste that into that value data and click OK. And now you're good to go. Uh, you can go ahead and close your registry editor. And now all we need to do is log out and log back in. Hey guys, so now that we're back, I'm going to show you guys how to convert the names to being blank. And so let's go ahead and get started. One of the things I posted in the description here is either you can do alt 255 or copy and paste what's in between the brackets of the characters. So if you rename and just paste that or do the alt 255, it'll empty out the name. And what you don't want to do is name something the exact same. So what will happen is if you do that, you'll just get the number two. You don't want that, so make sure it's unique. So you can do paste, space, maybe space again, paste it again, and now it's unique. Another thing is if you rename it and you rename it way too long, so if you can see I just keep pasting this, you'll see the three little dots pop up. Don't want that either. So keep it short. You know, like I said, you can make it unique by, you know, pasting, spacing, space, space, you know, what whatever it may be, even putting trailing, just regular spaces. Uh, just to make it unique. Now, if you have like, if your whole desktop's covered, <laughs> well, you're SOL. There you go. Another thing is that you guys mentioned too was possible black boxes. I know I mentioned that early on in the video as well. If that key does not work, you can also try the other key, just the regular 50 instead of the minus 50. Uh, another thing you can do is uh, if you hold left control, and my, my screen might mess up a little bit, but if you scroll down, or like up, you'll notice see how they, all these black boxes occurred. Um, so just scroll down, hold left control, just scroll down, and all your boxes will disappear. Um, now another thing is, as you can see, is what happened is that there might have been a duplicate icon. So for example, it says it doesn't find it because it's not real. So if you rename one of your icons and a duplicate icon occurs, just hover over the one you renamed. If it looks good, cool. You might just need to log out, log back in, and these fake icons will just disappear. No concern there. Um, so hopefully that answers all your questions. If you guys have more questions, just post in the comments of this new video. I would love to help. You guys stay fresh out there. You guys rock. <laughs>